It's hard to believe that on this quiet afternoon by the banks of the River Thames, months away from the 2014 boat race, that this is the start of a unique Attention. sporting event anywhere in the world. Go! Attention, go! The simple call Stand from Matthew Pinson, a mighty pull on the oars, a roar from the crowds, and the 159th boat race underway. They come storming out. But on the 6th of April, 2014, this whole bank, this whole area, is going to be teeming with people. Rowers and coaches from Oxford and Cambridge, past and present. There are going to be TV crews. There are going to be spectators here as well, hundreds of them, maybe thousands of them. And it's the job of you, the reporter, to convey all the excitement, all the drama of the story of the race. One of the key assets for any reporter is an interest in the sport, or better still, a passion. That means you will know the history, you'll know the key incidents, the famous incidents, the notorious incidents, the controversial incidents. They'll all be there, stored in your memory banks, and you'll be able to draw on that when you do the reporting. You'll know some of the key facts. You'll know which is the most successful crew, where are the most important parts of the course, how many previous winners are rowing in the race. All this is going to be a big help, but so too is preparation. Preparation will give you the confidence in what you've done you will know that you're ready, just like the crews. You'll have watched them in action in some of their warm-up races on the river. You'll know their results, you'll have compared them. You'll have seen who's performing well. You may well have gone to watch them training in the gym. You'll have seen how much hard work goes into being fit enough just to take part. The hours doing the weights and on the rowing machines, they've got to be ready to race for more than four miles, lasting almost 20 minutes. You'll have spoken to some of the crew and the coaches. And from next year, there's an extra news angle. The women's boat race will take place on the same day and use the same course as the men's race from 2015. You'll want to know also about injuries and any last minute changes to the crew. You'll also want to make a point of reading the programme and also the media guide. Try not to overburden your reader with a blizzard of facts. There may be something fascinating you found out about a crew always winning with someone who's got a beard. Is that really important? Try to think, what would interest you if you were reading about a sport which you didn't know anything about? Also important, showing no bias. You'll want to bring the race alive in your report. Make sure you cover the tension of the start, through the battles down the course when the boats can come so close that the oars touch and clash, sometimes with dramatic results. What can really make a story is the reaction from the competitors when they finish the course. The boat race is one of the rare events when there's only a winner, and a loser. Nothing else counts but winning. So capturing the different emotions which we can all understand is a key part of the story. The joy and the cheers in one boat, the utter despair and misery in the other. The more dramatic the race, the more dramatic your story. But whatever happens, try to make it as lively as possible. And if you can do that, then you've done an excellent job. So have fun writing and good luck. <laughs>